Yes, it's finally here. We got oil seals. It's time to go get to work. All right, what up y'all, it's Matt. So I've been waiting on my oil seals and my gaskets and I got them both behind me for this uh, Suzuki Vinson right here behind me. But if y'all miss out on me fixing this up, uh, the previous part will be up here somewhere, down in the description. And then the part after this will be down in the description at the end of the video, you know, somewhere where you can get to it. But uh, I got my oil seals in here and I got my gaskets in here. So let's just open this. So this is a uh, Vestra gasket made in Japan. These are aftermarket gaskets, but it's for this motor. And these things are like super high quality. Like I'm tempted to say that they probably made these gaskets for Suzuki because they are just like crazy high quality. Like this is a CVT cover gasket and it's got like a little thin piece of aluminum with foam on both sides. I mean, who does that? But anyways, that's a bunch of O-rings. I got to go through and replace all those. That's what we're about to get at here. Um, I got this for a steal on eBay. You can get new old stock like a guy will buy up, you know, an old lot of uh, of parts and then they'll sell them cheap on eBay. And that's kind of how I got this. But I already went through and I already know where all of these O-rings and everything goes. So um, hold on. There's the part number right up top. It says 05, but that's BS. It goes to 07. So, yeah, these are super duper duper high quality. Um, we're going to lay them down. And then we're going to open the oil seals. All right, here's the oil seals. Uh, they're made by Vertex. It's the same company that owns All Balls and Windarosa uh, gaskets. It's all the same stuff at this point, at the time of filming this video, but I was trying to go all Japanese, all USA uh, made gaskets and seals, which is pretty much impossible to do aftermarket. Um, I managed to get the gaskets Japanese, those are awesome. These are made in Taiwan, um, you know, I'm not too worried about it. They're oil seals, they're on everything on earth, and these should be good. So, I don't know where that huge one goes. I haven't seen any shaft that big on this thing. I guess we're about to find out. So I'm gonna go put these things, uh, in and yeah we're just gonna start popping them in i'm not gonna do it this one goes here this one goes there this one goes here this one goes there whole type of video deal because honestly you know you can figure out where they go you're smart all right so i'm just gonna pop them in there so let's get back to the bench all right let's see what we got All right, so there's a ton of seals to replace on this thing. Uh, I'm thinking I'm just gonna time lapse it. This is for the CVT, CVT shaft, front and rear drive shaft, some little uh, stator cover seals. I got some big sockets, my aviation gasket maker. So what I do is I put aviation gasket maker on the outside of it. This stuff works great. You can see it seals up great. Uh, don't use Permatex, please. And uh, I'll put a link in the description where you can get that aviation gasket maker. But let's just get started. I'm going to pound them out, pound them in, you know, replace them.
All right, so this part's weird right here. So I had to pound this bearing out. So there's a bearing that sits down in there. And then it's got this spacer. Um, it's got this spacer and then it's got the seal. So the spacer has an O-ring around it. It's got this O-ring o all the way around it and it's got corrosion all over it. So I gotta clean that up. So basically this pushes in, I know this is model specific, but this pushes in here, then that pushes in there once the bearing is below it. So it goes like this, stack like that. All right, so it says to put grease on this O-ring, but I'm gonna use Aviation Gasket Maker because on outboards, um, when you're working on lower units, there's a thing just like this. And it says to put, uh, what's it called? Aviation Gasket Maker on there to help it seal, which is what I'm gonna do. And there it is. All right, so I'm gonna say a word on this real quick. This is the uh, water pump seal, and there is an oil seal behind there. It's this one, and I'm not doing it. Um, I've taken this thing apart on uh, other four-wheelers, and this seal alone, this mechanical spring seal right here alone is $23. So if I pound that thing out and destroy it, which I will, um, that's 23 bucks just for that seal. And honestly, there's no problems. You know, if there's problems in the future, I'll address this. You know, the seal looks good in there. I'm not doing it. I'm not risking it. So let's get back to work. All right, so I was wrong. This this assembly just pops out like that. I, I know it looked weird. I need to get to this uh, O-ring right here. But yeah, it's easy enough to fix. If it starts leaking, I'll just bust all the guts out of the inside of it and just replace it. So it, that seal seems fine in there. So I cleaned up this shaft and stuff, and the reason I don't want to mess with it is because on a Grizzly 700, I had to do this like three times. That mechanical seal, uh, it'll weep right out of this hole and right out of here, and it'll pee all over the ground, coolant. And uh, yeah, it's not fun. So let me replace this O-ring here, and I'm just going to bolt this whole assembly back up and stick it back in there. And then we'll be on to the next oil seal. Okay, this one's not getting replaced right now because I gotta get my new uh, jug in. When I get my new jug in, I'll put that O-ring in there, but that's just gonna stay how it is. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. So that was the end of this part. I'll post the links up here and in the description for sure uh, to the next part. I don't know what it's going to be next. It might be the valves or something like that. But uh, definitely check out the description. Check out the description for uh, all the parts I used in this video because I'll post links down there for that stuff too. And, um, you know, make sure to drop me a huge thumbs up. 
as usual, you already know what to do. Comment, let me know what kind of products y'all like to use, you know, oil seals, gaskets, whatever. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that y'all get notified when I post more videos of me fixing this thing up. I want to get it done. So, uh, peace.